What's up guys, MC Stu here, and today we're going to talk about the new season that was announced today for Star Trek Online, and most importantly, the event that is going to come with that, and the rewards that they're offering are unlike anything that we've seen in the game so far. Super pumped about this. Let's take a look at the details, and then we'll take a look at uh, the rewards them themselves that we can get. Uh, so if we take a look at the blog post, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, I'll, I'll put a uh, link to this down in the description but if we look at the first uh, paragraph here the multiverse borg saga continues in our upcoming update star trek online unparalleled uh, coming may 28th on pc and in june for console this is going to offer new episodes tfos long requested quality of life feature feature so one hey one's better than nothing and a new event with amazing rewards so let's go ahead and jump down to the rewards so the event that will be starting on the 28th that you'll be able to earn these rewards from is going to be Delete Alt Control. It doesn't go into specifics on what exactly we're going to be able to do for the event, but it's going to be a combination, I'm sure, of the new episode, new TFO, and then maybe some pre-existing board content that you'll have a choice to run per day. It doesn't give us a specifics on how many days, but it's probably 14 is what my guess is. We'll get an updated blog once it gets closer that's specific for the event. Um, but again, let's look at what's important here for the rewards. So the first item that you'll get upon completion is going to be the Dimensional Hypermass Torpedo Launcher. Don't know anything else about it other than the name, so maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Type 14 Shuttle Support Squadron. These are either going to be pets or most likely is going to be a console that you click and summons pets. Again, we don't have anything but the name, um, so we don't know if it's going to be good or bad yet. The, the, the big ones here, and what I've never seen them do before, are these two items here. So you are also going to get 500 lobby, which is around 90-something dollars worth of lobby if you were to get it through the traditional means of opening lockboxes. And you're going to get a Phoenix Epic token, which is crazy. I've been chasing these for years, and it wasn't just until recently that I was able to get one. And then I had uh, got another one through an Epic bundle. Which, uh, if you do launch through Epic and you haven't bought this bundle, they have this. I'm getting squirreled here, but they have a it's like 35 bucks, something like that. And um, you get a tier six uh, coupon, which count unlock, and you get some other stuff that's kind of like whatever, but it also includes an Epic coupon. The mistake they made on it is that the picture of it doesn't show the coupon as being gold, so it doesn't like grab your eye right away. But basically, you're, you're buying a coupon for a you know, $30 ship for 35, but you're also getting an Epic coupon, which is very, very worth it. I've seen people put hundreds of dollars into the Dill Exchange to buy Phoenix boxes and open them and, and you know, open 2000 boxes and not get an Epic token. So them giving us this is huge. And we'll take a look at a moment what you can get with these Epic tokens. And so you kind of know what to expect. Um, and then lastly, we'll get 30,000 Dilithium Ore. And if you continue to play the the event after, you'll you'll get additional ore every day that grows. So I think normally it starts off at like 8K and then the next day it's 9 and then 10 and so on and so on. So if you continue to play it, you can farm out additional ore, you know, max out your daily um, refining rate um, by just doing one TFO or you know, whatever's available to us in that playlist for the event. Now, important to note here, there's nothing in this blog post that says that this is a part of the year-long campaign. Um, if it becomes a part of that or is announced that, then I'll, I'll definitely update you guys. Again, this is really kind of a large overview of the, the new season, so it doesn't give us a lot of specifics about the individual things that are in it. It does talk about other stuff like the lockboxes and you know some of that, but this is just kind of a general, hey, this is what's coming up, and we'll get specific blog posts for the individual items that are in there like this event, and so we'll review that. So these two items, again, this is this is huge, especially if you're free to play or you play on a budget or you just don't spend tons of money on on the game. Um, you know, if you don't get lucky and you're even at an average drop rate for Phoenix tokens, you're opening a lot of boxes. You know, like a thousand of them in order to to get one of these. Lobby again, normally these are these come out of lock boxes that you pay for the keys to open. And for me, I average around four or five per. I, I think the actual rate's higher. I just don't open a lot of boxes so my rates uh anecdotally is 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 lower than that 
Um, let's talk about what you can get with these items that you're going to get from this um, this event here. So let's uh, jump into game, and I have some of it here in my inventory so we can take a look at it. So why don't we start with the lobby? And many of you, I'm I'm, I'm sure you know know what's what's in here and stuff. But for the newer players, let's just take a quick look. So at 500 lobby uh, space gear, and if you wait for a sale. You know, you're at like 160, 165 um, for these 200 um, Lobi items. So I would wait for that if you were trying to maximize it. I have a, a decent amount of Lobi already still from two years ago campaign. So it's not as big of a deal, but on my free to play, it will be. But basically, you could get your set your, yourself, you know, a three set of, you know, weapons if you wanted to do the full um, ball weapons or, you know, pick up this particular console, which is a pretty good one modified swarmer processor um, you can get quite a bit of very very i mean these are top tier s slot uh, items that you would want to consider getting you know if you're getting into the shipbuilding and things like that same thing with the ground uh, equipment weapons are, are fairly cheap at 50 so you could get 10 of those or again if you waited for a sale that drops down quite a bit as well and you could get yourself any of the weapons that you want um, the armor sets are going to run the same price so 200 lobby as the consoles so if you waited for the sale you could pick yourself up you know an armor set um, and it's not a set, I guess. It's an armor piece, but most of these unlock a, a, a tailor unlock, if you will, that is a full you know set of visuals that that are pretty cool. Um, I personally like the uh, the Zot Vosh ones. I'm using that on one of my other characters. Um, the armor is not super great, but some of these weapons again are S tier, best in slots. You know, so if you look at, like the Shax Cannon things like that. So some of the best gear in the game comes out of the lobby store, at least pieces, you know, that you would need for any kind of build. And they're now giving us one of the only ways to get this currency for free through this event, um, other than your year long campaign. So you figure with the year long campaign and this event, where, you know, if you picked the lobby, you'd have 2000 lobby, which is a lot. And, uh, you know, so if you saved it for when you got that, you could pick yourself up a ship or two with, you know, a sale that's going. And when I say sale, they do lobby sales where you'll get 25% off the, the cost of lobby items. So very, very nice that they're giving us this, something that's normally a paid item or as of, you know, recently has been a part of the year-long campaign. Let's take a look at the Phoenix tokens. So I, I do have a couple now, um, which is kind of nice. These that you get from opening boxes i can move these from character to character this is going to be something we're going to kind of keep an eye out for because we want to make sure that if you claim this on a character from the one from the event is it going to be transferable to another character within your account i can tell you it's definitely going to be account bound um, you can't trade these uh, both of these items have never been tradable or sellable so but that's something that that we'll look for both of these items these currencies are tradable are not tradable but transferable within your account for the normal ways of earning it but sometimes that's a little bit different with events so i doubt that'll be a problem but it's just something that we'll have to kind of keep an eye out for once all the information comes out on the blog for the event itself so let's just take a quick look at the epic phoenix tokens so as you can see basically that's going to get you a ship and these ships were um, ships that came from events early on before the MUDS market was around. So the only way to get an event ship that you missed would have been to get an Epic token and pick it up out of the, the Phoenix store. So now that they're giving us that, that's a whole nother tier six ship. Now you can you can break it down into ultra rares. I would not do that um, unless you're somewhere in like casual SAB where he has like 20 of these, but I know he doesn't break them down because it just feels bad. And hopefully they'll add to this store at some point, but I don't really see that happening. But there's some very, very good ships in here, some really interesting stuff. Um, there's a couple that have very good consoles and traits on them. And uh, maybe we'll look at doing a video on, you know, which ships are, are good for the different kinds of builds for the uh, the Epic Store or the Epic Store, the, <laughs> the Phoenix Store. But um, again, basically what they're giving us for this event is a ship. If you decide to use it on a ship, tier six, special event ship, and the 500 lobby on top of the support shuttles and on top of the launcher. So again, unprecedented in Star Trek Online for you know the free free to play players out there, people that are on a budget. This is this is huge. 
Um, this is stuff that would normally cost you money, or in the case of the Epic Token, would cost you you know tons and tons of time grinding to lithium. And and like I said, there are people that'll put in real money to switch it to lithium just to try and farm these out and get them. And the drop rates are worse than regular lockboxes by like double or triple from what I've personally seen. I've I've watched people open the Phoenix boxes. Hundred or what, two thousand five hundred? I think Nick Nick MB did one night, and he didn't get a ship out of it. I mean, that's that's insane. Uh, I I know he's gotten some after that, so I'm sure he was like pity point to like the fifth power. But uh, I got to tell you guys, I'm pretty pumped about this. This is nice. I guess there's kind of two ways to look at it. You know, well, they didn't develop other stuff to put into the game, you know, and so this is just a shortcut. Hey, I'll take it. And we are still getting these new items. I mean, we don't know exactly what they are other than the names, but um. Having these two things in for you know a regular event like this is is really really awesome. So I'm really pumped about this. I wanted to make sure everybody knows. So on the 28th, you're logging in and make sure that you complete this event so you can get uh, these rewards. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, if this was helpful, hit that sub button, ring the bell. I'd appreciate it. Are you pumped? I mean, I can't see anybody being upset. I mean, now that I've said that, somebody will, and they'll have some <laughs> some reason why, and that's fine. You know, we all play the game for different reasons and have fun different ways, but free stuff's great, and, like, really good free stuff that gives me choices, like these two things, is just awesome. So uh, hats off to uh, to STO, and and should we just, I guess we'll transition to, to DECA. Um, so I know Cryptic's still there, but anyways. All right, guys, there it is. Don't miss out on this. Till next time, have a good one. I appreciate you. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.